All right, so today I'm going to show you how to monitor an application running behind Nginx on an EC2 instance using CloudWatch. We'll start first by installing and enabling CloudWatch on the EC2 instance, and then we will move on to setting up Nginx to provide extra information. And lastly, we'll finish by setting up CloudWatch to provide metrics and setting up a dashboard to monitor a live application. So starting first by installing and enabling CloudWatch on the EC2 instance. In this example, I'm using a Ubuntu instance. Therefore, I'm taking the link that is a Debian package and install this on my EC2 instance. This gives me access to the agent controller that allows me to monitor the CloudWatch agent. So it allows me to start it, stop it, and check the status. And it also enables me to configure it with a configuration JSON file. So this configuration file provides information about the files themselves. Where are they located? What is the time zone used for the timestamp? And what is the name of the log group and the log stream that is used on CloudWatch? This will tell the agent how to access those files and how to translate the data from the file to push it to CloudWatch. Once we are done with making the file, we can use fetch config as an action with the controller, and this will configure the agent using the configuration.json. We can then start the agent and check the status of the agent, and we should see that it's running fine. We now have a CloudWatch agent running on an EC2 instance. Moving on to the second part, configuring Nginx to provide extra information. By default, Nginx stores all access logs into the access log file, but those logs aren't fit for CloudWatch. What we can do instead is to create our own log format and log every access in a different log file, which is what we're going to do now by using the log format directive from Nginx. We specify a name for the log format and we make sure that the format itself is a space delimited format where each value corresponds to a variable. This is important for CloudWatch to know exactly which value corresponds to which variable. Then we use the access log directive to specify a different path which is actually the path that we set in the configuration.json that we gave to the agent. We can then restart Nginx and we will see that every access to our website will yield a log in the new access log that we made. So we now have an EC2 instance set up with CloudWatch and we have logs that are formatted for CloudWatch with Nginx. But if we go to the AWS console, we will see that none of the logs are actually pushed. The reason why is that for the EC2 instance to be able to push logs to CloudWatch, it needs to have the necessary permissions to be able to push data to CloudWatch. And to provide the permissions, we need to create an IAM role. To create an IAM role, we go to the permission section and click create role. Then we select AWS Services EC2 and CloudWatch Agent Server Policy. And we provide a name for this role. And once we are done creating the role, we go to the EC2 dashboard and attach the IAM role to the EC2 instance. Once this is done, we should now see logs flowing into CloudWatch. So with that set up, we now have logs push to CloudWatch. We can explore the logs, we can filter the logs, and we can monitor what is happening in the application. But to go a step further, we can use the logs to extract metrics. As we saw previously, we added the upstream response time in the access logs. So what we can do now is using this upstream response time, we can extract this as a metric. We do this by going to metrics filter and creating a new metrics filter. 
specifying the pattern of the log and then specifying the different options that will be used to extract the upstream response time. Once we save the filter, we should now be able to go to the matrix view. And from the matrix view, we should be able to go to log matrix, matrix with no dimension, and select our matrix. This allows us to create a graph out of this matrix and specifying different options as the statistic, which is whether we want to see the minimum, the maximum, the average over a certain period of time, which is whether we, this period of time is one second, five seconds, that would be the average uh, for every five seconds. So the average response time for every five seconds. And what we can do next is to add this to a dashboard which will then allow us to create multiple charts and being able to monitor the whole health of the application from a single dashboard. So for example, what I've done here is that I have created a dashboard that allows me to check the request per second on my application, the latency per second on my application, which is the upstream response time, and I also have the availability of my application, which is the amount of success over the total amount of requests. This can be achieved from the matrix view where we can add mathematical computation. So for example, here I'm setting up that the availability is the amount of success over the total count, which is the success plus the errors. And that's it. That's how you monitor using CloudWatch, an application behind Nginx on an EC2 instance. Hope you liked this video. See you on the next one.